Hey, Mike with Rove Pest Control here. In today's video, I'm gonna answer the question of will ticks die in cold weather? So stay tuned. Now, one thing that a lot of people maybe don't necessarily think about is that ticks can actually survive in pretty cold weather. Now, a lot of times people have the misconception in general that most pests just completely die off in the winter months, and that's really not true. And it's also not true for a lot of ticks as well. Now, what happens is sometimes ticks, uh, a variety of different species of ticks, what will happen is that some of them will go into kind of a suspended state where they pause their development. And most ticks, what will happen is they need to feed before they go on to their next stage of development. So whether that's become, going from you know, the, the nymph type stage to an adult, or if it's going from an adult that isn't reproducing to an adult that is reproducing. So there's various stages that these ticks will go through and they usually need to feed before that can happen. So what will typically happen is if they don't feed, they're gonna go into that suspended state, but at the same time, they really want to feed, right? They really wanna go on to that next stage of development, that next part of their life cycle. So when temperatures start to drop, it starts to get colder, food sources start to get more scarce for them, they're gonna become more aggressive. So a lot of times what happens as temperatures drop and it becomes fall-like weather, or again, even into winter months, they're going to be actively hunting for food as aggressively as they can. So again, just because it's cold out or it's starting to turn to winter doesn't necessarily mean that the ticks aren't going to be active. Sure, you'll certainly not see them as much, but a lot of them still can be active. And one of the ways that they can actually do this is, unfortunately, if we don't keep proper upkeep of our yards. And so what can happen is if you leave uh, piles of leaves around your yard or you don't mow your lawn before the first snow comes, can leave a lot of opportunities and shelter points for ticks and other pests. So for example, what happens is, even though it sometimes can be really cold where you're at in the winter, you know, most ticks can survive and still be active in the low to mid 30s range or even slightly below freezing. And so what'll happen is if you have left uh, leave piles in your yard or you forgot to mow the lawn before the season changed, uh, that longer grass or those piles of leaves can create that those pockets of insulation protecting the ticks and other pests from the elements. So they could be still active underneath these leaf piles. Again, if there's a high level of grass and the snow falls, that creates an additional layer of insulation. So these ticks might be active underneath the snow, underneath these leaf piles or grass clippings, whatever the case might be, and you might not realize that they're actually there. And then what can happen is maybe you have a mid-January uh, thaw or a part throughout the winter where it gets warmer, I know here the past few days in the January, it's been uh, in the 40s, so it warms up a little bit. And so if those ticks are still active uh, in the area, what they can do is they can climb out on the grass or open spots. And you know when the sun's out and it's warmer, they could still be looking for a meal. So again, what happens is they're still active in those areas. They still could latch on to you, your pets, different things like that, still looking for a meal, looking for that opportunity to move on to that next stage of life uh, it, for themselves. Now, at the same time, when temperatures are dropping, uh, again, or if it's in winter and they're still active, like I've been talking about, uh, they could also be looking for an opportunity to just find a host and hang out there for the rest of the winter season. So again, if your pets are out and about and you're in an area that would typically have high traffic of tick activity, Again, if you're bringing your pets through there, it still could be a possibility. Now again, it's no guarantees that the, you can completely avoid ticks in the winter. Some are active, certainly the numbers drop to a degree, but they, they still are around. Now, some ticks will also burrow underground uh, and go a little bit deeper where it's a little bit warmer, closer uh, in the soil there. So that's another option for them to kind of survive and still be around 
during the winter months. So just paying attention, making sure you do some of that upkeep before the season changes. You know, depending on when you're watching it, it might be too late uh, in the season to do that for yourself and your home. But just be aware that ticks can still be active. They can still be spreading disease. They still can get on your pets. So be aware of that and pay attention and you can go a long way with preventing tick issues in your home or with your pests as well. But again, just because it's winter, just because it's colder, doesn't mean that these ticks have completely gone away. So it's important to understand and be aware and be on the lookout in case you run into any tick activity with you or your pets. So again, hopefully you got some benefit and value out of this video. If you did, feel free to comment and share. And also, if you happen to be uh, having pest issues, feel free to reach out to us over at rovepestcontrol.com. And then as a first time customer, you can also go to rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off and enter your information there to get $50 off your first service with us. So if you're a brand new customer or you have existing pest issues or you want to set up a protection program for your home, head on over to rovepestcontrol.com and then rovepestcontrol.com forward slash 50 off to get that great discount as a first time customer. But thanks so much for tuning in. We'll talk to you more soon.